Hey, Coach, how you doing? Good. Um, it seemed like down the stretch of the fourth quarter, rather than play around with the lineups, you went back to the lineup that probably has the most continuity this season. How big was that lineup for you tonight and their continuity overall to get this win? Um, it was very big, you know, just um, having those guys back on the floor. Um, like you said, just just getting the continuity back, understanding the plays we're trying to run. And, um, you know, I felt the need to get those guys back on the floor early. So um, it kind of hurt us when PG got his uh, second foul in the first quarter. We was out there playing with a unit that we haven't played with before. And, um, you know, just they just try to figure it out, you know, with Kawhi being on the men's restriction. So, um, you know, third quarter, um, and starting the fourth, I didn't want to go back to that lineup. So, you know, I brought Kawhi back to start the to start the fourth, played for three minutes, and then brought PG back just so we can kind of just keep some kind of continuity on the floor. Thank you. Thanks. We we'll go to Claudia. Hey, Ty, Subak has become a good shot blocker. How much do you expect that part of his game improve in these next games and going into the playoffs? I think he needs to block more shots. <laughs> <laughs> He needs to block more shots. I'm serious, too, and I get on him every day. But, you know, he does a good job, like I said, of, of verticality and being in the right place, but he needs to block more shots. That's my personal opinion. Thank you. Thanks. We'll go to Farbad. Hey, Coach, congrats on the win. Thank um, you. You know, Kawhi only took six shots today. Do you think it was a fatigue thing, or was he just trying to ease back into it? Uh, what did you see from him where he was a little bit more passive on his shot, uh, shot selection? Um, no, I think, you know, they came into the game, you know, just they decided they were going to let PG and Kawhi play. And um, that's what we talked about at halftime is that, you know, they're going to double team and triple team and jump the game up playing triangle and two and box hill one. And we just got to move the basketball, make the simple play. And I thought PG down the stretch really did that. I mean, they blitzed him. He hit Zoo, you know, four or five times in the pocket. Zoo made the right play. Um, PG's big block at the end, the big charge. Um, he was phenomenal down the stretch. So, um, you know, just, you know, teams, teams are not going to let them play some nights. And if they do that, we got to be willing to move the ball, share the ball, and make the right play. Thanks, going to Mason. Hey, Coach. Um, so you uh, went with Pat off the bench for his first game back. Um, and Pat was talking earlier about how it's it's kind of helping him get more comfortable, get back into his rhythm. Um, do you are, are you is it still in flux who's going to end up being the starting point guard and how do you like Pat with that second unit? Uh, we're just going to try to you know see what fits you know who fits with who and um, we got to move some guys around. Um, I just thought it was great to have Pat back on the floor. Like I said, his intensity, um, like I said, driving, you know, making the right play, um, catching goals when teams are double teaming, not just selling for the three, putting it back down and making a play for your teammate. He did that a couple of times. And um, like I said, just his pace, you know, on both sides of the floor. So it was great to have him. Like I said, we're just going to try different lineups until we figure out, you know, what, be what works best for this team. And, um, you know, we just kind of go from there. Thanks. Go over to Helene. Hi, uh, Ty. Just looking ahead a little bit, um, your next game uh, coming up is against uh, the Lakers. And as the standings are right now, that could be a first round playoff matchup. Is that something that you consider at all in, in your planning for this game? Or is it just, uh, you know, getting your lineup set and, and all that kind of stuff? Um, just working on us, you know, just like trying to get our good habits back. Now we have everyone healthy, um, you know, working on our rotations, you know, who meshes well together. So um, the biggest thing for me is just, you know, working on, us, on ourselves. You know, it's not about playing the Lakers and who we play in first round. You know, we need to get our stuff right. So um, that's the main focus right now. Thank you. Thanks. It's time for two more. We'll take one from Tomer. Uh, hey, Ty, with the um, just to follow up on, on Law's question, like, uh, is there a path, do you think, to Reggie starting? Or do you think like throughout the playoffs, maybe like it could be depending on whether you need shooting or more pace? Like, how do you view that kind of thing? I go on matchups and, and just feel for the game. You know, if someone we got to make an adjustment, then we got to do that. Um, it is matchup driven. Um, that's kind of how, I, you know, that's kind of how I coach in the playoffs. So, um, you know, we don't know who we're going to play first round, you know, um, but just working on different stuff. So guys are comfortable playing on the floor with different combinations. And like I said, it's the first time that um, we've had our whole team back outside of surge, you know, with the addition of Rondo, with the addition of Cousins. And so uh, we just, you know, we're just trying to figure it out right now and, you know, what's best for us, you know, going forward. Are there any more combinations you'd like to try out? Well, one? you know, with Kawhi being on the minute restriction, it's, 
you know, um, I like playing PG more with that second unit. But now with this happening, PG's have to play the whole first quarter. Now Kawhi comes back in with the second unit. And I'd rather, I'd rather switch that up. But with the minute restrictions, it's kind of tough right now. Got it. Thank you. And Law, you can take the last one. So I, last game, Saturday night, you mentioned that you felt like Kawhi kind of eased into that game, took his time getting himself comfortable, first game back in a few weeks, this, that, and the third. You know, tonight, uh, he dominated – it seemed like he dominated the game in his minutes by taking six shots. You know, so what were your takeaways from how he approached tonight's game, especially in the second half, versus what you saw from him in his return Saturday night? Well, you know, they, they just, you know, said tonight they're not going to let him play. And I thought he did a great job of, you know, trying to play with pace. And I thought he did a good job of making the right pass and the right play for his teammates. And, you know, when teams, you know, are going to do that, then we got to make them pay. You know, and having 28 assists and, you know, making 15 threes is because they decided to double team PG and double team Kawhi and not let those guys play. But we still got to keep getting better at it and continue to keep trusting.